there's been a lot of buzz about Instapots. Some of us may have even received one for a holiday gift, but how do they work and what can you actually make in them? We've got someone who can help us out with all of our Instapot questions. Amy Peterson, Coburn's in-house registered dietitian, joins us. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Absolutely, thanks so much for having me back. All right, so let's just start off with how does an Instapot work? So basically it's a pressure cooker. A lot of us have maybe used the, the rice cooker, which is you know similar, but um, basically it's hot steam, high pressure. So it's cooking your food thoroughly, but a lot quicker than a slow cooker would. So you can use actually a lot of the same recipes that you would find in a slow cooker, but modify them to be able to use in the Instant Pot to be able to have your meals on the table in a fraction of time, which is a great benefit. But I will say there are some parts of it which might be intimidating for people. It's, you know, including like the fact that it is hot, high pressure. Um, and, and when you release the steam, that can definitely be a safety component. So we always want to be sure that kids aren't using it. Um, and even when adults are using it, you guys are, you know, thoroughly reading the steps for how to, so that um, you're not hurting yourself and your food turns out as good as you really want it to. <laughs> yeah, safety first, but food faster. I definitely like that. So give us some tips if you're a first time user, how to tackle a recipe with an Instapot. So a few of my favorites are one, I'll actually just take two chicken breasts and a jar of my favorite salsa, put that in the Instant Pot for about 10 minutes on high pressure and it makes beautiful shredded chicken that you can use in enchiladas, tacos, quick quesadillas on top of salads, things like that. But it only takes about 10 minutes and you get perfectly shredded, you know, tender and moist chicken. A few other ones that I love are hard boiled eggs. They only take five minutes cooking inside here and they peel so easily <laughs> that I just, I can't recommend that enough. But again, it's extremely easy. And another quick meal prep is a lot of individuals are trying quinoa for the first time or other different whole grains. So quinoa itself actually only cooks on high pressure for one minute in an instant pot. You let it, you know, slowly release the steam, but it's extremely quick to cook up those whole grains um, versus doing it over the stove top. So those are three quick things for meal prep. So a lot of healthy food, whole foods can be used in there and a lot of vegetables too. Absolutely. So you can do different animal proteins, plant-based proteins. You have a lot of options. And this recipe that we have uh, right in the middle here, it's a blenditarian chili. If you've never heard of the blend, it's basically mushrooms mixed with ground beef so that you're getting a kind of a benefit of both. Um, but basically I'm going to toss my mushrooms in a food processor, get those in there. And I want them to basically be finely chopped. So this will actually help resemble the texture of ground beef. And so when I'm actually cooking my chili, I'm gonna use about half the ground beef that I normally would. And um, the other half I'm gonna substitute for chopped mushrooms. It really helps bring out an umami flavor. And of course, add in all of your vegetables. You know, you've got your no salt added tomatoes, a little bit of broth and your beans. And it's a really great way to have chili on the table in no time, but you're still getting a healthier version that you can feel good about for you and your family. Oh, I want to try that. All right, Amy, thanks a lot for joining us.